Welcome to my nursery corner. Today I wanted to go over what I have set up for as a first time mom for my new baby who is due in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna show you around, show you the essentials that I got um, and just go over what, what you need. Before I show you this first section, I just wanted to preface this by the reason why we don't have an actual room nursery um, is because we're moving soon and we don't really have an extra room to create a nursery, nor did I want to spend the time doing that when it's gonna be set up at our new place here in a couple months, weeks. Um, plus, from what I know, uh, the first three months or so at least, your baby really spends a lot of time in your room especially at night and that's where they sleep. So it's just a lot easier to kind of set up your space in your room if you do have that room to do so. So the first part that I'm gonna show you is just her bassinet. This is the Baby Delight bassinet. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it from Baby Delight. I think they sell it a couple other places too. Um, but uh, right now I have it set up to be a fairly similar height to our bed. Um, you can raise it up or lower it. Uh, I don't have the side open, but you can open the side, like unzip it so that it's open to your bed. So that really all you had to do was like roll over, get your baby, feed them, change them, put them back. Um, so you can anchor it to your mattress. So if you do have the side open, you would anchor it into your mattress and raise it up to be level with your bed. Um, so inside, I have the outlet monitor, so I just got this out yesterday, set up the app, charged it. Um, this is the outlet sock, so you put this on your baby, it monitors their oxygen, heart rate, um, movement, sleep, that kind of thing, and it alerts you on your phone if anything's abnormal. Um, obviously I can't say whether I like it and use it a lot, but it did, It's it was something that I absolutely wanted. For peace of mind um yeah so i have that so i'll use that for baby and then inside this is the snuggle me organic this is just the cover for it um so on the inside it's like a blush color um so i won't have this in her bassinet like long term because technically they're not supposed to sleep in the snuggle me it's really to have a place to set your baby down but um the inside like when you put them down it just kind of keeps them really snug and secure and they prefer it ra rather than just setting them in like a big empty space they feel like they're being held a little bit so it's like a big pillow um and hopefully she likes it <laughs> but you know i won't keep it in here we just have the bassinet and then uh i probably won't keep these blankets hanging here but for right now i really like them they're just cute i have this little donut um like lovey i call them loveys so yeah that's the bassinet section this is the changing station that i set up now i don't know what will happen at night and during the day and where i'll actually change her we have a basket downstairs with you know all the necessities for changing downstairs and that's all i have downstairs um but at night i imagine that i'll pick her up and feed her and change her like literally on the bed. Um, I don't see myself like getting up and changing her right here, but maybe I will, I'm not sure. Uh, but obviously I have the boppy, which is great for feeding, even if you're breastfeeding, bottle feeding, whatever, you just wrap it around yourself, the baby lays on it, and that's how you feed. Um, as far as the changing pad, this one is from Delta Children. I think I got it at Walmart, it has a cover that comes with it, but I put a Burt's Bees cover on it just because I like white, <laughs> which maybe isn't the best choice. But I also have these changing pad liners, so I figured that these would be good for night changes and then just on top of here in case you have any spillage going on. Um, but they are waterproof on one side, machine washable, all that good stuff. So I think I got them on Amazon, like a three pack of those. Um, so that's the changing pad. Um, these three bins below, or I guess this dresser in general, we already had. Um, we've had it for two years now. It's just like literally from Walmart, we we're trying to get by, didn't wanna buy anything expensive, so I'm just using it temporarily. Um, this bin has 
Velcro swaddles in it of all different sizes. Um, they're all washed already. I think I have like the smallest sizes on top. So we'll just see what works best for her. You just never really know um, what's gonna work best. And then these are muslin swaddles, regular swaddles. I probably have way more than I need, but I don't know. You just never know. And maybe I'll have to wash them all five times a day. So a lot of them came as gifts too. So yeah, we'll see what I actually use. And then this spin has headbands, has little baby socks, um, baby hats, and oh, little mittens for baby because they usually scratch themselves. So that's what this bin is. And then my drawers are separated. I have a newborn drawer, so everything's washed in there. I've got like sleepers and onesies and a couple little outfits. And then the bottom drawer is um, zero to three months, which is just a little bit bigger. And same thing, sleep zippy sleepers and onesies and then a couple outfits. So that's these two drawers. Then I'll show you this cart next. This is a three tier rolling cart that I got off of Amazon. I will try to link as much as possible of this stuff below so that you can click and shop if you really want to. But, um, the whole cart idea was something that I saw early on in pregnancy and wanted to do it. Um, I've heard, or I've seen people do it just for breastfeeding. So they have the whole thing stacked up for breastfeeding. I have a combination going on because we don't have a lot of storage in this corner. And then it also has wheels. So for our new place, which is all one level and hard floors, this is going to be perfect. I can roll it from the bedroom to living room to her nursery. So very, very functional and it wasn't very expensive. I think I've seen them at Target too. Um, but top is, this like top section is diapers. Um, I have like diaper creams, powder. This is a wipe warmer back here. Some people don't think wipe warmers are essential, but I do think it helps. Um, it depends on your baby too, but boys especially, like they'll pee on you if they have a cold wipe. Um, but I've heard that for girls too. So I think that it's going to be great. I haven't plugged it in yet just because we don't need warm wipes and the light stays on and it bugs me during sleep. So that's the top um, tier. I also have this Vava light. So this is a obviously warm yellow light. Very easy to use. You just pop it on the charger and I think, I don't know how long it stays charged, but it's, it's pretty long, honestly. Um, and I think you can dim it. Yeah, so there's the dimmed. And then you can turn it off. So this is perfect for nighttime. I don't want to wake up Brad every time by like turning on a bright light. I also don't want to wake up the baby. Like, it's just a really good thing to have. Um, it's not a noise machine. So for noise, um, I do have the hatch, which everyone has said is a, like, a major essential. Um, major key. Let's see. Yeah, so you can turn it on, it turns on a light, and it plays noises. It plays a variety of noises. Um, I'm gonna turn it off, we'll see. There, okay. Um, so it runs a couple different lights. You can set it up on like a schedule from your phone. There's an app, uh, so yeah, I just, you can take it anywhere, but this is portable, so I can take it into any room. Um, the hatch is not, it always has to be plugged in. So that's why I have both and I'm excited to use both. The second tier is um, a lot of like burp cloths, you know, not only for like spit up, but really anything that you need to clean up. So I have these stacked up in there. And then I also have um, some extra diaper creams just in case there's ones that like, I don't feel like they're good for her. Um, or they don't work for her skin. And then I have like little buckets of passies of all different types that um, I either got gifted or came in uh, like the registry gifts, like packages. Um, so we'll find out which ones she likes, if any, and we'll use them. And then the bottom tier has disposable nursing pads. Um, washable nursing pads so both options um, nipple cream it has all of the pumping parts and yeah I think that's it 
for the bottom tier. So hopefully I don't need to be reaching down there at night, but who knows. <laughs> This is a very bougie, <laughs> a bougie reclining um, rocker or glider. I knew that I wanted a reclining one. Um, the one that was not so bougie, a little bit less expensive, was out of stock forever at Target. So I was like, okay, we're just going to use some gifted money and um, pay the remainder of it and get the really nice one. So this is the Baby Leto Kiwi Glider. Um, so why it's so bougie is because it has a USB port so you can plug your charger in and sit here with your phone if it needs to be charged or whatever it is that needs to be charged. You also have the ability to recline it. It's very, very quiet and it has a button. So rather than like having, you know, imagine you're holding your baby and you have to like, you know, sit back to recline your chair. Um, it reclines all the way back and you, I mean, it, you're pretty much like laying down. Uh, we'll see how far back. I don't have it where I need to have it. It needs to be shifted this way a little bit, but it goes back very far. Um, so again, it's very, very quiet and that's why I like it. Um, and you don't have to pull anything, press, you know, a weird button and like push yourself back and wake up the baby. So I am really excited about this. And if I don't use it a lot now, I'll move it to our living room someday and use it myself because it's pretty dang comfy. <laughs> All right, the last little corner that I have set up is really just like storage of extra stuff. I do have my hospital bag sitting here packed and some other things that I need to just pack in there. Um, but there is video coming for what I'm packing in my hospital bag, so just stay tuned. I'm not quite done yet. Um, I have a blanket for the hospital that will take, um, my sweater and leggings that I'll take, and then this like fan um, for the hospital. So all of this stuff is like hospital. And then under here I have my pump, uh, my breast pump, and my baby carrier, which I haven't opened yet. Uh, this is like a chest it just opens and i have extra diapers in there extra wipes um a couple of things that i wasn't sure like if i needed quite yet um but they're in there just in case so that's what's in this chest and then i have a basket full of little books um books sitting underneath it i have one if you guys like can believe it i only got one stuffed animal for her gifted, which blows my mind, which I, I mean, I love that though, because I feel like people always get stuff you don't really need. Um, and this one was definitely a need because we'd be foxing every day. <laughs> if you guys don't know what that reference is, um, maybe we'll put an image up of the fox, which is what I'll be looking like, uh, my entire postpartum journey. So <laughs> we needed a fox. Um, I have an extra like car seat canopy sitting over here her diaper bag and like changing pad that will go in her diaper bag and then the diaper pail and I have a humidifier out so this is really just like an extra section we don't have really space to put it anywhere else so it's going right here um I do have a swing that we haven't set up yet uh I don't know why I haven't set up mostly because I, I it's not going to fit in this corner and I don't really know where else to put it I don't know if she will want it and need it. Maybe I'll put it downstairs after she's born. I just don't know. You just, I didn't want to set it up and then, um, not like use it, I guess. So anyway, that's really it. Um, if you guys have any questions or maybe you have suggestions on like what I'm forgetting, if anything, um, people would love to read through your comments and just see what you put in your essentials. Um, but that's it. Subscribe if you haven't because there's tons of more baby stuff to come. A lot of new exciting changes with the new house. So yeah, we'd love for you to follow along. Comment down below. Like this video. You're worth it.